Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna continue moving forward with the series and let's go start working on some materials and basically a plane to sit this bowl on. So let's press Shift A, go to Mesh, add a plane, press S so we can scale this up. We'll press G, Z, and we'll just bring this down so it rests right underneath the bowl. Let's bring this down a little bit lower. Now let's change from a um, viewport shading to this renderer here, Cycles, and let's go up to the render settings, change the render engine from EV to Cycles, and you get a lot more realistic look to this. And we're gonna add some more lights here later on, but I just wanna get some basic lighting so we can see some of the materials as we start to apply them to the objects. So first things first, I want to uh, change my device from CPU to render with my GPU. And um, let's add a material to this bowl. So we select it, go to materials. We can add a new one. And let's name this glass underscore bowl underscore shader. Once you have that, we can go down to transmission Let's change that to one. Let's down the roughness a bit. And I'm gonna bring up the specularity. And where it says subsurface color, we won't change any of that, but we will go to the base color. Left click on that once. And let's change this uh, value here to be a lot higher. Now you can see, you can see through the bowl at the milk. Got some cereal on the top. That looks good. And we're gonna leave it like this for now. We're just adding basic materials to this. And let's go back to the um, preview renderer here so we can not bog down our systems. And let's change the color of the Fruit Loops. So first thing I'm gonna do is select this, um, the base model here. And I'm gonna go to uh, add a new material. So I'll go to new. I'll change this to Fruit underscore loops underscore shader. And then I'll change the color to something we can see very easily like red. And now I'm gonna go to the shader tab here, shading. And now we can start adding some colors to this. And what I wanna do is basically um, add a couple of nodes First one I want to add is a object info node. So I'll press shift A down here in the node uh, viewer here. I'll go to, um, you go to input and go to object info. Where are you hiding at? Leave this here. I'm going to add another one, shift A. I'm going to add a color ramp. And to add that, you want to go to converter here and then go to color ramp. Now what I wanna do is go to uh, random and drag that into the fact, which is the factor, and change the color and drag this into the base color of the principal BSDF. And everything else looks great here. And what I wanna do is middle mouse scroll to zoom in so you guys can see what's going on. Here it's taking the color from the color ramp which is black and white in any value in between and distributing them amongst the fruit loops. Now what I want to do is um, change the colors to these and add some more colors that match the fruit loops. So I'll select this color here which is black and I'll change the value up and we'll make this red and then we'll click maybe this color here and change this one to a teal color. Try this down so it's not so bright. Now we need to add some more colors to this, maybe about four more colors. So we'll press this plus sign here and it gave us a widget here in the middle and we'll change this color and make this maybe a uh, orange. Make this a little brighter. And we'll add some more colors. So let's hit the plus sign again. We'll change this one to yellow. Hit 
another plus sign. Actually, we'll get rid of that one. We'll add another one right around here. And let's change this one to green. And we need maybe one more color. The purple kind of changed a little bit. So what I'll do is um, I'll add a purple right here. I'll actually add it down here. Nice purple color. And we have our red. And what I'll do is change the path from linear to um, constant. So it's a direct change and there's no in-between colors. And notice if you drag one too far to the left or to the right, it basically covers more ground of the fruit loops. This is a nice even color here. We don't have blue. We can uh, go back and add that if we want to. And this is fine for what I need it for. So we can go back to the cycles render and see what we have. That looks good. Now we can add some roughness to this as well. Let's go back to the material. Go to roughness. We dial this up a bit. Now we'll add a material for the milk. So we'll select it here. Add a new material. We'll name this milk underscore shader. Now we can go to the base color and I'll change this to be a little bit more close to blue or we could change it to a color red. And what I want to do is dial down the roughness a bit up the spec and far as the transmission I'm going to up that a little bit as well so it's a little bit see-through and we need some transparency so we're going to add some uh, subsurface scatter so it can absorb some of the light as well so subsurface scatter here if you add a little bit Now change the subsurface color to maybe like a reddish color. You can kind of see how it looks now. So we have some transparency. So let's go back to the cycles render and you can see how it looks. So it looks a lot more realistic. And we're going to add some detail to the Fruit Loops later on. We're going to add some... Uh, We're gonna add some breakup to the fruit loops later on and add some more um, detail to that. And this looks really good so far for the milk. I think I'll make that a little bit more um, white looking. So I'll bring this up and I'll grab um, the subsurface scatter. And this is a good amount for the subsurface scatter. We'll leave this as it is. I think this is fine for now. We'll adjust the lighting in the next video. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.